Hello Flutter learners, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see how you can select any image from your phone gallery. And then you can display it in your apps page. There are several use cases for this type functionality in app development, where we need to select the image from the phone gallery then, we need to display it or upload it on the mobile app screen. Now here I have my code is open and here in the main.dart file, I have this image picker example page. Let's first design the UI for it so from here remove this container thing, and here add scaffold widget then inside it, we need to add the app bar, and then for the title part, give it the title as image picker string. Then we need to create the body for our scaffold, so come into body and here a create a center widget. This is the place where we are going to show our images. And also let's add floating action button, on which when you will tap the phone gallery will open. So create the floating action button and then come inside it, and here give it a icon. Then on pressed method, as of now let it be empty. This button will be used for opening the gallery from your app. Then for selecting an image from the gallery we need to use an image picker library. So let's import that here in the pubspec.yaml file, and then tap on to this pub get option, so that it will get all the dependency. Now come into the main.dart file. And here we need to create a file variable as image, and this variable is going to be nullable, because let's see user opened the gallery and user didn't select any image. So in that case its value is going to null. So that is why we making it nullable. Then here we need to create the instance of the image picker, so let's create that and now here we need to create a future method for selecting the image. So here we created a future method as get image, and don't forget to mark it as a async now come into this method and here let's create a variable as picked image in which we are going to assign our selected image. Then here add a wait, then here make use of our picker instance of the library. Then we need to call pick image method of this library. So this method will open the given source location, and then return the selected item. Now we need to give it the source, because we need to specify that please select item from this source. So here add the source as image source then dot gallery. So we have added that, now here add the set state and in then inside it, let's create a condition like if picked image is not null, then we are going to assign the path of the selected image into our image variable. So for doing that let's make use of file class then picked image dot path. So it will convert the path into this format. Then add the else and inside it. If the image is not selected or say image pst is equal to null, then we are going to print a message that no image is picked. So now copy this method name, and here add this method name on the onPressed method of the floating action button. Now come into the center widget and here add the child, and here first we need to check that if image is equals to null, then add the text widget, and inside it add this message, that no image is selected. And if it is not equals to null, then we need to show the image. And here this image selected from the file, so here make use of image widget then dot file, and then add its path and don't forget to add this nullable sign here. Now this was it for the coding part. Now let's add the required permissions for the Android and iOS platform. So for adding the permissions in Android first open the Android folder, then app, then source, then Android manifest.xml file. And here inside it give it the camera permission. This was it for the Android part. Now for the iOS part let's open the iOS folder, then runner, then info.plist file. And here we need to add a key tag so add the key tag then here write ns. Photo. Library. Uses. Description. So it will provide the permission for that. And below it you can add string message that why you need this permission. Okay now save this thing. Now this was it. 
Now let's run the code and let's tap onto this button. And as we can see the phone gallery is opened and here we can select any image we want. So let's select this image, and you can see we have a selected image displayed on the phone screen. So this was it for this video. If you found this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up and comment it down what you like about this video. And yeah bye bye, take care.